we're back at the Learning Center plot at Jan Peters. This was planted uh, back in late April, and today we're setting up our western bean cutworm trap. Um, the week of May 22nd, we were directed to put these out. Um, Syngenta is involved with a kind of a multifaceted, uh, multi-company approach towards monitoring for western bean cutworms. So we've uh, we've got a number of these traps we're putting out this year and uh, they will be monitored weekly from this point on and we'll be looking for cutworm moths. The key thing about having out of this plot, we have a bunch of uh, different material here and the key thing from an NK Syngenta standpoint, we have hybrids that contain the Viptera trait, which we know has excellent activity on western bean cutworms. So we'll be able to monitor for moths uh, throughout the summer but at the same time, we'll be checking the various hybrids and looking for uh, feeding later on. Uh, the scouting for the actual moths in the crop begins at that pre-tassel stage. That's when the moths land and will uh, lay their eggs, which ultimately form the worm, which will begin the feeding on the ears themselves. So just because you have moths in the traps doesn't mean you're going to have... Uh, moths in the field and feeding, but it's uh, an indication. So the, the trapping network has been set up, organized through OMAF and Ridgetown College. has been going on for two or three years now. And um, and so we're, we're building more and more data and so trying to associate where the moths show up in the trap and to what damage levels we see in the field. So we're very really interested to see how the Viptera hybrids do. So Brennan has put the pheromone in the top here. And so that attracts the adult moths to uh, come to this trap. And he places that in there. And then the bottom, he's got an insect insecticidal strip. Because once we have the moths, we'd really like to be able to count them. So that will take care of uh, killing them. And then when we come in or someone comes in on a weekly basis, we'll open this up and be able to count the uh, moths. There'll be all kinds of other insects, I suspect, but it's mainly the, uh, the western bean cutworm moth that we're interested in. And we'll take account of that, and then we'll submit it online to the western bean cutworm mapping network. And the people at Ridgetown College, they'll be assimilating all that information.